Hey there, how's it going? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward. And today I have a question that was sent in through the Total Fitness Bodybuilding Facebook page by Dustin. And he says, I'm curious, what do you think of the two muscle groups in the body, chest and back, which one, if I were to choose more volume and more focus, uh, would be more important? This is not to say that I would ignore either. Uh, I'm speaking in terms of longevity and functionality. My guess is that it's the back. Am I wrong? Is it more important for people to put more focus on back training than chest? Uh, personally, a huge chest isn't my priority. I prefer more back aesthetically. However, I also feel when it comes to supportive long-term uh, strength, the back would be more important. Correct me if I'm wrong and elaborate if you have the time. Thanks. I'm in agreement with you. I personally think the back uh, would take priority over the chest in terms of your real world functional strength. And, and just think of people you know personally outside the gym, uh, especially people who are uh, a bit older, got a bit of wear and tear on their body, <laughs> uh, seniors or, or people approaching that age. How many of them do you know who complain of having a bad back? You know. Probably quite a few. I mean, I, I can pretty much guarantee that everybody watching this video knows at least somebody who complains of having a bad back. All right? Now, how many people do you hear complaining of a bad chest? All right? Uh, unless you're talking about someone who uh, was training chest in the gym or had uh, injured their chest, you know, maybe tore a pec through bench pressing or something like that. But in real world, day to day stuff, the odds of you injuring your chest is pretty low, but the odds of you injuring your back is quite high. I mean, obviously, when you look around, a lot of people have back issues. Now, it could be from uh, straining their back, trying to lift or carry something, or it could be from years of poor posture, you know, just slouching, and the muscles have just gotten deconditioned, and the, the discs in the back have started to bulge and everything else under just years of poor posture and slouching, and this can cause a lot of issues. Uh, it could be from years of, of sitting down, a lot of times the muscles just get tight and, and they lose flexibility and mobility. So back issues are very common and you need to take precautions in order to prevent that kind of stuff from happening. So uh, while it's important to train your body in balance and proportion, I do think it's okay to give your back some extra emphasis, especially when it comes to the lower back, uh, especially when it comes to flexibility, and especially when it comes to uh, the neck upper back area, because these are areas that tend to cause people the most trouble. I mean, we're in a, a day and age now where the upper back is going to cause a lot of problems, which then can just, you know, cascade down through the whole spinal area. But when we're uh, working on the computer, you know, a lot of people tend to slouch over when you're on your phone, uh, slouching over, and this creates a lot of pressure on the discs in the upper back neck area and that can create a lot of problems. So you purposely want to strengthen that whole upper back area. And I recommend doing a lot of exercises for your rear delts and upper back. I mean, a lot of times uh, we refer to it as the rear delts, but anytime you're doing anything like that, be it a reverse fly, a face pull, or anything like that, you're working more than the rear delts. You're working the entire upper back complex, and that will help to uh, strengthen those muscles and help you have better posture. Now, you still have to physically work on your posture, but strengthening those muscles will go a long way. And another area that I recommend you focus on is the lower back. And one of my favorite lower back exercises is the hyperextension. Now, with this one, you don't need to use a lot of weight, but what you do want to focus on is building up uh, volume and working on increasing your work capacity in that area. So I like doing high repetition, uh, high volume body weight hyperextensions. And you can do this on a regular basis. I mean, it can be done several times a week because, again, we're focusing on the higher volume, higher repetition, and not necessarily trying to break the muscles down, but to pump them up and to increase blood flow, uh, increase flexibility and mobility in that area. 
So I very often like to include hyper extensions as either part of my warm up routine or you can throw them in at the end of your workout as part of a cool down. But it's something that you could literally do a, a few sets of hyper extensions with every single workout to just get some extra blood flow and extra muscle activation into that lower back area and that will help to strengthen uh, the spinal rectors and thus help to strengthen the whole core area and prevent a lot of back issues from happening later on down the road. Now when it comes to designing your workout programs in general, a good rule of thumb to follow is to think of balancing out movement patterns in your training program. So for example, if you're going to be doing a horizontal press, like a bench press, then you want to balance that out with a horizontal row. Uh, if you're going to be doing an overhead press, you want to balance it out by doing an overhead pull and you can think of it through all your major muscle groups. I mean, if you're gonna be doing a chest fly, you wanna balance that out with doing a reverse fly. If you're gonna be doing a leg extension, balance it out with a leg curl, a bicep curl, balance it out with a tricep extension, and all these different movement patterns, think of balancing it out so that you have an equal ratio of movement patterns. Now, it doesn't all have to be done in the same training session, but over the course of your training cycle, you know, over the course of the week, make sure that you have an equal number of movement patterns for uh, opposing muscle groups. And this will help to keep everything in balance and prevent um, issues where you probably have some areas that are overdeveloped compared to others. I mean, this is a common issue, especially among uh, novice lifters, when they want to focus more on the show-off muscles, like the chest and the biceps, and they tend to neglect the back, or they neglect other areas because they just want to focus on, you know, the, the show-off areas, and not really focusing on building a well-balanced, complete physique. So I hope this video has been helpful, and if you have any questions, comments, or feedback related to this, feel free to post those down in the comment section below, and I'll chat with you down there. And in the meantime, make sure to subscribe to the Total Fitness Bodybuilding YouTube channel if you haven't already done so, and stay tuned for my next video coming soon. Take care, over and out. And to follow up with this, I have another video covering some good lower back exercises that you can include in your workouts to help strengthen that lower back area as well as some back stretches. So just click on the annotations on your screen to check out those videos.